Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Listen to another parable. There was a man, a landowner, who planted a vineyard. He fenced it round, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went abroad. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, thrashed one, killed another, and stoned a third. Next he sent some more servants, this time a larger number, and they dealt with them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come on, let us kill him and take over his inheritance. So they seized him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. And when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They answered, He will bring those wretches to a wretched end and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will deliver the produce to him when the season arrives. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in Scripture? It was the stone rejected by the builders that became the keystone. This was the Lord's doing, and it's wonderful to see. I tell you then, that the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. A couple of weeks ago, I was invited to take part in a kind of awards ceremony. It was a, a celebration of leadership in Queen Margaret Academy. In the past few years, it's been celebrated in St. Quivert's Church and it's taken the form of a mass. But this year that wasn't possible. So instead we celebrated a much simpler liturgy of the words in the school itself. It's an occasion for celebrating the trust that's placed in some of those pupils, the positions of responsibility that's entrusted to them. It's a, an opportunity to applaud them and to remind them of the responsibility that goes along with those positions. Positions like house captains and prefects and ambassadors of various forms. The gospel that was read at that service included the line, those who have a great deal given them will have a great deal expected of them. And those given a great deal on trust, even more will be expected of them. It's a sentiment that's reflected in the parable in today's gospel. A great deal was entrusted to the house of Israel, but they failed to bear the appropriate fruit. It wasn't anything new in the time of Jesus. It was a long-standing problem. 700 years before Jesus told that parable to the chief priests and the elders of the people, the prophet Isaiah talked of the people of Israel as the vineyard of the Lord and reminded them of the fruit that they were to bear. Let me sing to my friend the song of his love for his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He dug the soil, feared the little stones, and planted choice vines in it. In the middle he built a tower, he dug a press there too. He expected it to yield grapes, but sour grapes were all that it gave. And now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, I ask you to judge between my vineyard and me. What could I have done for my vineyard that I have not done? I expected it to yield grapes. Why did it yield sour grapes instead? Very well, I will tell you what I'm going to do with my vineyard. I will take away its hedge for it to be grazed on, knock down its wall for it to be trampled on. I will lay it waste, unpruned, undug, overgrown by the briar and the thorn. I will command the clouds to rain no rain on it. Yes, the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah, that chosen plant. He expected justice and found bloodshed, integrity, but only a cry of distress.
God expected justice, but found only bloodshed. Integrity, but heard only the cry of distress. God has revealed his love for us, and the response he calls for isn't sacrifice, but mercy. Isn't that we spend more time on our knees in churches, but justice and compassion and love for neighbor. God has sung his song of love for us. May we hear that song always, and may we live in response to it. May that song echo through our lives, so that others too may come to hear it, and know the love of God for all people.